Greetings YouTube and welcome to another one of those videos where I try to answer the question should you go for the new featured champion and we have Ghost right in front of our eyes the new Ghost crystals have come to the contest Ghost is also in the arenas for those of you that want to give up an entire weekend to get Ghost naturally and guarantee yourself even though it might take you 45 million plus points to do it in the five star version so Ghost has been interesting because ever since she came into the spotlight the theory was that she would be a wonderfully terrible champion to have to fight an alliance war, but thankfully Kabam put the villain tag on her, so at least Blade and Ghost Rider synergy really helps. Uh, but with that being said, you're probably not going to go for a champion just for a defense, right? You're, you're going to want to go for a champion that you can play really well as an attacker. So let's take a look quickly at some of her specs and see if she's worth it. Now, we want to pretty much skip ahead the health and the attack, max PI, blah, 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 blah. She is tech. So those of you like me who have been waiting for Stark Spidey, I got that tech awakening gym, not that I'd use it on her. But uh, yes, it's all about phasing. Now, it's really interesting because uh, they say Ghost is not required to dash back to avoid an incoming attack to trigger phasing. She only needs to dash back to trigger the ability, regardless of what the opponent is doing. So really dashing back is the key success to phasing. Now, upon phasing, gain a precision passive for six seconds. So that guarantees the next hit to be critical and consumes the precision passive. Ghost can only land critical hits through her abilities. All right, I don't actually know what that looks like in terms of the fighting style, but obviously you're going to have to land a hit in order to land a critical hit. You want to be dashing in and out to cycle phasing and landing critical hits. Dashing back triggers phasing and pre precision passive. Dashing in with the medium attack guarantees a critical hit so uh it's really like a cool version of like true strike right consuming the precision passive which then allows ghost to activate phasing immediately so uh ghost also is a fantastic intercepting champion since they're basically saying they want you to intercept with a medium attack using this champion while phasing incoming attacks have a 100 percent chance to miss and each damage over time to debuff on ghost converts a fury passive in Increasing attack rating by 1,294 for 5 seconds, which is good, although 5 seconds will go pretty fast if you don't attack. Phasing is immediately deactivated when Ghost initiates an attack or blocks an attack. Developer note, a miss should never occur when you attempt to parry with Ghost. Well, working as intended, let's just say it doesn't always uh, happen. All right, critical hits cannot be evaded. Non-critical hits have a 10% chance to gain a cruelty buff. 10% chance is pretty trash. When the opponent evades, gain a precision passive for 6 seconds, so this is great against evading champs, even though I don't know if she'll be better than someone like Iceman to, to just stop evasion. The chance to gain cruelty buff on a heavy non-critical hit increases the longer the heavy attack is charged. Holding the heavy attack until the very end will ensure that both hits provide a cruelty buff. That's cool. Okay, so I want to scroll right down, because we've seen her specials, to one of the big questions. What are her synergies? So who do you have? Now, Ant-Man, like, cool. Ant-Man is going to be somebody that uh, you certainly want to improve upon, but he's still such trash that if you get the same ghost synergy, you know, you're, you're not going to care. Uh, now, I do want to say I love Hood, and I think Hood is such an underrated champion. And so for Hood to have a unique synergy where he starts the fight invisible, that's pretty amazing. So if you're a Hood fighter and you're taking Hood into, say, Alliance War attack because Hood is one of the best Medusa counters in Alliance War, strongly consider going for Ghost in this case. So Hood owner, so far that's my best uh, suggestions. You don't just need a car to go for the Hood. Worst joke ever. Taking no damage while phasing may seem redundant as Ghost can shrug off damage over time debuffs, but for certain types of damage it can be quite useful. For example, Iceman's Frostbite damage can be negated if timed correctly or other sources of passive damage. So for those of you who keep telling me I need to rank up Iceman, I still want to eventually, but Iceman, the newer champs between Cold Snap and Frostbite, the uh, developers at Kabam are almost designing them to specifically negate Iceman's abilities, which kind of sucks for the Iceman holders, but it is what it is. Okay, recommended masteries, cruelty, lesser cruelty, liquid courage, double edge, blah, 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 extended fury. Strong matchups, Iceman, we just talked about that. Nightcrawler, also probably classic Spidey. Weak matchups, um, blah, blah, blah. Well, Corvus Glaive, well, who isn't a weak matchup against Corvus Glaive? At least in the first 20 hits. So overall, should you go for this champion? I think if you have Hood and you bring Hood into Alliance War Attack, absolutely. But otherwise... Uh, it's it's your call, but I don't think this is a game-changing champion right now until we see some gameplay footage. Now, Crystal Opening Whale uh, duplicated his uh, champ, of course, got that five-star version of Ghost today. So 
certainly if he comes out with the video that says she's a god tier attacking champion, that's going to have some input. But just from the specs that we got right now from the blog, I would say it's going to be a champ that's fun to play with, and especially if you like to intercept with a medium attack. But for most people, it's just somebody you're probably going to wait for that four star basic arena to come around or, uh, you know, try to get her in a different way. But other than that, hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you go for Ghost, let me know if you try uh, and if you get her. Comment below and let me know if you go for those Grandmaster Featured Crystals. Just realize that it's a lot of units to spend on what will most likely be a three-star champion.